The Zone 3 Runic Statue finally opened up and we got to see TA versus obviously GG. But TA have a very clever plan and I'm going to showcase what happened and then the Zone fight itself and showcase, honestly, some really good strategy on both sides of the spectrum. Hello guys, yes, smash like, comment and subscribe for more daily videos here with me, Mr. Sneaker, and we're going in, like we said, about this runic statue because it did open up and we did have a victor and we're going to go over the gameplay on this side. But what we need to talk about is honestly a little bit of strategy involved on their end because during this fight, this was a really good honestly, I think, plan on the TATM side because they know they want to win this statue and they know GG most likely want to win the statue too and obviously showcase their fighting skills against them. However, you can't be in two places at once. That's 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 the motto here. And what basically was going on where there was a nice big push going down on this bottom side. And as you can see, they have actually built some nice flags and territory space, which is really close to the GG zone, right? And because of this, you can see now the turret spam is insanity. So to get through this, you've got to get through a lot of different turrets just to get out of this, like, you know, area. And that was going on, like I said, during this runic statue. So let's just jump into now some of the footage that we've got from Zone Freeze Runic War. And here we are. In, in the time zone and basically I'm not gonna lie I did miss a little bit of the as you can imagine the openings and stuff But from what I was told it was the same throughout It's been the same throughout and it's been a really good fight where GG as you can see in the top left corner Have a really good amount of score right and this is probably from the fighting points you earn While in this zone and obviously on top of controlling some of the area but what we're doing here is we're going over the TA side now, right? So the TA guys have employed that plan that I was talking about just earlier on in the video. And this is allowing them, as you can see now, to have a numbers advantage with TA and I believe EXG in a union, being able to target and attack into this GG83 basically zone. Because this is just GG83 on their own now, right? So they're fighting basically full strength as they can with the members they've got online while GG13 were basically fighting south side against those guys pushing forward. So what we can see is some really good gameplay, right? We can see really good murder balls on both sides, right? We can see the fact that like here, the EXG guys and the TA guys nicely positioned, right? In that little bottom section, allowing them to obviously um, target down any troops and they've targeted down that Goresh really, really well here on, on their side, right? So, we can even showcase this, obviously, with the live draw feature. This is a mass amount of troops here. There's a lot more than it appears. You know, you've got, obviously, the, the maybe eight portraits on screen. But there's so many players there ready to fight. But you can see on the GG side, they're still fighting for control. Look, and they've got a nice spread. So, again, if you, you're in this murder ball, you can see this is still a very tight murder ball with a smaller one here on the top side of the TA section, right? So, if you are in this murder ball any area of effect damage is getting the maximum efficiency on the gg side but when you look at you know the difference all these troops are spread out right all of these troops here are all spread out allowing them again to hopefully minimize the amount of area of effect damage so you can see the difference on both sides open field strategy here but ta doing a great job right they've already holding in this point in time that we're watching the statue right so they're holding the statue we're showcasing right look if we've got the right numbers here and we can obviously move you guys because there's a threat elsewhere we can potentially have a good fight right and this is showcasing it and i think this is <laughs> looking juicy for zone four right watching the full ta tm exg sky alliances go against the gg g13 and i believe it's r66 as well fighting there um I'm, I'm sorry if i missed anyone out you know i'm not to be honest i'm just playing for fun you know i'm not really involved in the allies stuff i just need to know who i'm killing and then i go for it right well, we can see now the GG force is pushed out, right? Really good. TA now spreading along. And I like how this is like enveloped, right? You can see how they've still got this murder ball here, but they still now have like 
troops located here. So they've spread out a little bit, allowing them to obviously push forward and secure this little entrance. As well as now, as you can see, as I was about to mention, these guys can start moving up. So you're actually providing, you know, a nice little bit of covering fire for the top guys now. So being in the middle, you can support two fronts. While, you know, if you're in this bottom ball, obviously your task is going to be to push forward here. Or if you're in the top ball that you can see, they're going to try and push forward in that section. So you can see like TA now spread it out and I like it, right? We like to see what we're here. This is what you want to see, right? You don't want people constantly bunching up. You do want people to take that space and hopefully if they take that space there, you know, they're going to gain the ability to now swing around again and hopefully basically defend on these two fronts. And as you can see, it's a little bit more harder for the GG guys, right? So that, that's all they've got here. They've only got these guys now left in this statue zone. So again, really good defensive side from the TA. You can see GG try and respond with the troops. More troops coming in from GG here. Even sending in the front lines, which is really good. You've got a Goresh now coming in up on this little top side, being in the front line, trying to get in and basically soak up as much damage as he can while his DPS gets basically three hits in. So he's right in there now, right? And he's taking control. And by doing that, you can see like the, the space created. He moves in because he moves in, look at this GG ball now. It's now created that opportunity to seize that space and they take it straight away. They know, okay, we've he's created that pocket. We need to make that pocket our pocket. And that's what they do. And I love it. I love to see that nice little quick fast movements, right? And that's decision making on the fly, guys. You need to learn this. Obviously, the more you play these type of games or, you know, maybe even just like MOBA games, you learn decision making really, really well playing those style of games. And you can see now GG are back in a very comfortable position. Look, they are now holding off and now TA are on the back foot. And it's crazy, right? And this is just showcasing the fact that like TA were in a really good position there but they might have not closed the deal. They needed to close the deal and they didn't. They, you know, they backed off a little bit too soon and now they're getting punished for it. They're getting punished because GG have the space back. Maybe TA are happy with this. Who knows? Who knows? But if I'm looking at this as like, you know, a PvP area, now we've got to fight for all of this control again. And that's going to take, obviously, time and we might lose. Who knows? You might lose in that fight and you don't want to be in that point. So here you can see, again, GG standing strong. I'm just going to say they are standing very firm and TA are pushing back. And you can see them pushing back. And the thing is, this fight goes on for ages, guys, right? We've got 41 minutes of it. And the thing is, because of the threat that we were talking about, you're going to start seeing less and less troops appear on the GG side because the threat is more important, to be honest, than that statue. And you're going to see this now if I start fast-forwarding it. You can see the TA guys now already pushing forward. They've already taken back where they needed to be. If we push forward a little bit more, you can, again, you can see there's still a few GG guys here only located in this little top section, right? They're not getting too far out, but it's going lower and lower. You can see the troop count getting lower and lower, and there's gonna get to a point where we get, and you can see there's the last 30 minutes almost now on this. And they're trying to push through just behind my head. I know you can't see it. There's only a small amount of troops here, but again, the major bulk of GG are in the top. And you're gonna see a common theme now, right? Because this is where the TM on the south side matter, because this is where they're gonna start being, you know, where it, look, we're gonna lose a lot of our territory. We're gonna start losing certain bits and bats. And you can see TA and TM now. And if you look at the scoreboard, it's flipped right? It's act actually flipped. So now TA have the majority and you can see now they've even got more troops here. There's even more EXG members here and TA have secured the runic statue and well played. Honestly, well played because now if we fast forward it again, you're going to just see, obviously some people from GG trying to come in, but nothing too crazy, right? These guys have controlled this zone. You can see the timer going in. People, like I said, just coming in just to kill these dwarfs. But that is it. That was the whole, whole event. And that's what I'm talking about when we're going into this runic statue. Really, really cool, right? And the fact that you can obviously want to win this to give you guys that hero stamina recovery speed, right? But if they can fret like they were doing this bottom zone, 
you know, you have to address that. And if you don't, you know, this this massive monstrosity, monstrosity on screen appears, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed. That was Zone Freeze runic statues. I wish, I, obviously, I caught the beginning. I didn't be, I wasn't, you know, I was still sleeping from obviously the, the Christmas days and New Year and stuff like that. So, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. You know, it's been a very fun time here. We've been chilling and we're looking forward for more PVP. So if you enjoy PVP breakdowns and all the guys are here, just smash a like, comment and subscribe below guys. In the description, I've got my Discord. You can click on any of the links if you want to help and support. Do what you want to do. But with all of that, Happy New Year and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So stay safe, stay sneaky. Peace out.